Hey guys, Joe here with Steel Ops. Um, we've done this video before, but we're going to do it again for the uh, Instagram TV. We're going to do a clay ballistic test today on a couple different plates. Um, one's going to be a fully sort of uh, UHMW mix plate. That's what's on here right now. Um, the other is going to be a ceramic UHMW composite plate. Um, those are pretty popular right now. Then we're also going to do our XP plate. To start off with, um, what I want you to notice about this plate is because it's curved, okay, it's not actually sitting tight against that clay. That's going to be important here in a minute when we go over the test results, um, but I just wanted you guys to see that. Um, we are going to be shooting everything uh, XM90 out of a 16 inch 308, um, and is it 149 grain? 149 grain XM80. We're going to be at 20 feet, got that marked out with this tape measure here. We're going to be at 20 feet. That's where the muzzle of my gun is going to be. So uh, I will load up and we'll take our first shot here. So again, remember that plate wasn't pushed tight. This was your bullet impact right here. I'm going to peel this off and see what that clay looks like behind it. Boom. Okay. So again, guys, good stop on the plate. The plate did its job. It stopped the bullet. That's great. But that's the amount of blunt force trauma you're going to be feeling. That'll be interesting here in a minute when we compare that to something that maybe you guys have felt before. So we'll uh, put our ceramic UHMW composite plate up here next and take a shot. All right, guys, we got our uh, ceramic UHMW mix plate up there. Um, again, 308, 16-inch barrel, 20 feet. See the fragments coming out. Guys, again, steel is not the only kind of armor that fragments. So can ceramic, okay? That's what all this stuff is. So again, great stop. Stop the bullet, but that's the amount of blunt force trauma that you're gonna feel if you were to get hit by that round. Um, on this one, actually a little bit more than the, uh, the first plate. So we'll take our steel and put it up there, and I'll show you the difference between steel and these other plates. All right, guys, um, so now we have our uh, pro plate, our Steel Ops pro plate. This is our AR600 steel plate. Um, same test, same ammo, um, XM80, 16-inch barrel, 20 feet. Bullet impact was right there. There's your difference, guys. Okay. Sorry about the wind there, guys. Um, so you had your fully uh, sort of composite plate, um, a ceramic UHMW mixture, and then the steel plate. So that's the difference in blunt force trauma that you're going to feel um, compared to those. Uh, this is not exact, guys. I don't have the caliper to do this the right way. So I'm literally just ballparking. We are at right about... 15, yeah, seven eighths, seven eighths of an inch there. On this one, we are right around half. And on that one, ooh, if I can even get my tape in there, um, you're probably pushing three eighths in there. Yeah. So um, there you have it. So now we're going to put this into perspective for you guys, um, just so that you can kind of imagine what that would feel like. We're going to do another test here. All right, guys, so we just did our ballistic tests on the, the three plates. We, tr we try to think of a creative way to sort of relate that to you guys. It's really easy to look at a piece of clay and say, okay, um, that's Roma Plastina number one, I believe, which is what the NIJ says you're supposed to use. Uh, but it's really difficult to put that, to relate that to you guys in terms of what that's going to feel like when you get hit. So we came up with the idea that, uh, I don't know how many guys, you're baseball players. Um, I used to be, and we're, that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw a baseball at this clay. I'm going to basically be at, twin, at 12 feet here, and I'm going to throw this baseball as hard as I can. We don't have a radar gun, guys. I don't know how fast it's going, but I'm willing to bet that when you see it, it probably doesn't matter. This should help you sort of relate how, what you're going to feel when you get hit with this, all right? All right, 12 feet. It's not a squishy baseball. It's a regular real baseball. All 
All right, guys, that's where I hit. That's deeper than that. That mark from the ceramic uh, UHMW mixture is deeper than the mark that that baseball left. It's about the same as that plate with uh, the first plate that we shot. So, guys, I want you to imagine yourself being 12 feet away from somebody and being hit with a baseball as hard as they possibly can, not wearing any armor, this is without armor, that's what you're basically gonna feel. And then tell me how long you think you're gonna be able to stay in the fight, okay? So that's important. Um, hopefully that helps sort of clear some of this stuff up for you guys and helps you guys kind of relate what blunt force trauma is actually gonna feel like. Um, if you have any questions, as always, reach out to us at shop.steelops.com or on our main website, which is www.steelops.com. Thanks.